back when I was in sin, I would speak very poorly about other people and things that I disliked. And then the more that I learned about God, I found out that doing things like that is wrong. And it is very common for people to speak poorly about other people, which is not right. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say that you are dealing with someone and you are trying to get answers from another person, trying to figure out what that person is thinking or what that person is trying to do so you go and tell another person what is going on I believe in cases like that talking to another person about an issue that is going on with a person who is in trouble or doing something wrong in that case there I don't think it is wrong to speak about that because you are trying to get answers but what I am speaking of is when people are not looking for answers they just want to speak poorly about people just want to down people and say how bad they are and it would be more understandable if it would happen every so often but sometimes people do it so much perhaps every time when you come near them and what you have to understand when you find people like that or if you are that way what you need to do is stay away from people like that or if you are that way that likes to slander and talk poorly about people, you need to stop that because that is wrong. Like I said earlier, if you have met someone and there is an issue and you want advice about what you should do, I don't think it is a bad thing to tell another person what is going on so they can give you advice on what you should say or do or whatever else. But if you are just saying bad things about a person and you are just doing that out of conversation, that is wrong. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. So, this goes with cursing people out. This goes with speaking negatively about people. Just speaking bad about everything. Like you are grumbling and murmuring about bad things. Just nothing positive comes out of your mouth. Out of your mouth but only negative things. If you are that way, that has to stop. And you may say, well, you know, my mom was that way, my dad was that way, so I learned that from them. Well, if someone is doing something bad, shall you continue it? It is wrong, so stop it. So let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. So don't gossip. Don't slander. Stop doing these things. Because in truth, you are hurting more than helping. Okay, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. What is the definition of edifying. Let's look it up. Instruct or improve morally or intellectually. So, 
if anything, you are, when you speak to people, it should to, hmm, you're supposed to be helping people with what you are saying. Does that make any sense? If anything, if there is an issue with a person, don't just talk behind their back, just being mean and rude and stuff like that. What you should do is tell that person, hey, what the Bible says, this thing that you are doing is wrong. Don't speak to that person and just insult that person or curse that person out or be really rude or mean to that person or go to another person and gossip and slander that person that you are having trouble with. We should be speaking positively about things. Not always bringing up bad things that are happening in life. That is not good. I know when you look at the news channel, and in some cases, in my opinion, my opinion, with these news channel, I don't know why people can stand watching that stuff all day, every day. Hearing about negative things all day, every day. You know that is going to affect your spirit, right? Whatever you put in yourself is going to affect you. So if you are watching the news channel where mainly negative things are being told or shown, that stuff is going to affect you. And it is not going to affect you or affect you in a positive way. How can it? How can something negative give you positive attributes? Unless you are being tested by God. But when you are listening and feeding yourself, negativity all day long how can any good come out of that think about that i believe i forget when i was in this person's house and this person had the news channel on and you know i wasn't trying to listen to it or anything like that i was talking to that person and the whole time that I was up there, I was over there, only negative things were being said or reviewed or whatever else. All negative things, pretty much. Why would you want to listen to that? And you wonder why you are such a negative person or a cynical person. You always see the worst out of a person other than the positive qualities that a person may have, but you only focus on the negative. You wonder why you are that way. It is the things that you are feeding yourself. Let's go back. Ephesians 4 and 29. So let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Watch what you say. I know for myself, let me say this. <laughs> I like to joke around with people. And in some cases, some people really get angry with me with my jokes. So some people I can joke with, some people I can't joke with. And... I have to be careful with what I say, too. In some cases, you know, I may say the wrong thing. And I have to repent for that. 
when I do say the wrong things. So this rule is for me as well. Okay, so let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. So we know what edifying is. Pretty much to improve, to correct, saying good things to a person or pretty much what you should be doing is speaking positively to people or if need be correct them so that they can improve in God but don't say negative things and just verbally beating up a person that is not right so okay that it may minister grace unto the hearers give me a second please that it may minister grace unto the hearers so stop the gossip Stop the slander. We know that there are preachers who don't teach the truth. This prosperity message. We know that people are teaching that. You don't have to say negative things about the individual preachers or pastors, bishops, whatever position they may hold. Why continue to cut them down? You can teach, you can talk against the wrong type of teachings, like for instance, you can say that once saved, all the way saved is wrong. But the people who are teaching that doctrine, you can't cut them down. That is wrong. We are supposed to show people love. But the wrong doctrines, we don't have to show love to wrong teachings. So the doctrines, the wrong teachings, we can teach how that stuff is wrong. But we should not be teaching or slandering people saying that, hey, this preacher is evil, that preacher is evil, you know, they are going to hell and stuff like that. You should not be doing that. Well, people need to know the truth. Well, they are going to know the truth when you are teaching them what the Bible is saying. If you are showing them where in the Bible where that type of teaching is wrong, they are going to know who the wrong teachers are or, or the false prophets are. Teach people the right things and they are going to find out who is teaching the wrong or right things. So stop calling individuals a false teacher and a false prophet and stuff like that. That is wrong. If you have an issue with a teacher, confront them face to face if you can. Hey, what you are teaching is wrong. What you should do is change. Don't go all over the internet just posting mean things about people and stuff like that. That is evil. Isn't that what demons do? Demons that are within people just say mean things about people? Cutting people down? As Christians, as servants of God, we can't act like sinners do. Sinners go all about cutting people down, saying mean things about people and stuff like that. If you have an issue with a person, confront them as much as possible. You don't slander people. I don't care how much lies they tell. You don't slander them. 
You teach against the wrong teachings and the wrong prophecies and stuff like that, but not the person. We have to show people love. We have to come to them in love and correct them, not, look, what if a teacher is teaching the wrong things now? Then someone comes to them and say, hey, what you are teaching is wrong. Then afterward, they began to teach the right things. But what if while that teacher is teaching the wrong things, someone goes out and say negative things about that person all over the Internet? And what if a year later that teacher changes and begins to teach right? Hey, all these people are saying mean things about that teacher. So how likely is it people are going to follow that person? Not too likely. People can change. This is why we need to confront people. Either try to call them or email or best way is to confront them face to face. So I pray that this makes sense. Stop the gossip. Stop the slander. Stop all of this evil stuff because it is not of God. And like I said, I know for myself there is this particular person where he speaks negatively all the time and in some cases I have no other choice but to take it because if I try to tell this person to stop it makes a huge whatever argument or fight or whatever so I just keep my mouth shut I have tried many times so if this person wants to continue doing it Hey, that person is going to reap what they sow. I have warned that person many times. So I just have to do what I have to do. So I pray that this makes sense. No slandering. No gossip. Stop it. Stop it. No more calling people false teachers and false prophets. You know what? <laughs> the main some of the people that I know that are doing these things, calling people a false teacher and false prophets and stuff like that, are people that are in sin. So how can you correct anyone or call anybody or anyone a false anything if you are in sin? That makes no sense. How can you show anyone the right way to go when you are perhaps sinning more than that person is. You are a lukewarm person, a sinner, but you are trying to expose someone. How about you expose yourself? <laughs> trying to expose other teachers and stuff, but you are in sin but you choose to not expose yourself that is crazy so i pray that this makes sense look when you begin to follow god truly follow god surrendering everything to god you are going to learn how difficult it is to serve god you are going to have more compassion for people. You are going to have more love for people at that point. But since you are not at that point, you are criticizing people. Listen, just stop it. Stop it. God bless.